This weekend in Germany, I gave a lecture on some of the major cannabinoids and terpenes and what they actually feel like in the body. So now I'm going to condense that down to three minutes for you. I'm Lex Pelger. I do can education for CV Sciences, the makers of Plus CBD. I was told to focus on vape manufacturers, but this should also apply to anyone who wants to make medical products or just wants to know how these things feel in the body and mind. The first is CBD. Don't forget CBD if you're making products. As Dr. Raphael Mashulam said, the father of the endocannabinoid system, he wished that all medical cannabis plants and recreational cannabis plants had at least 1% CBD to protect from the too much negative psychoactive effects of THC. If you remember our lessons about the CB1 receptor, CBD is a negative allosteric modulator of that receptor that causes a psychoactive effect. And so that means THC doesn't bind there quite as well. It still binds there, you still get a psychoactive effect, but it helps to prevent people from getting way, way too uncomfortably high. So if you're making products, keep 1% of CBD in there. Next, CBG, the Energizer. This one's great. I have a video about it if you want to learn more in a deep dive. But the main thing is, this is the peppy one. In fact, it's so peppy that it can make people's heart race. And so a lot of people in are into energetic cannabis. That's what CBG tends to do. But be careful if your heart tends to race when you use cannabis. CBN, the sleepy cannabinoid. Good for helping you get more rest. In fact, Plus CBD has a new reserve product with THC and CBN and melatonin in it. Also, CBN is the breakdown product of THC. So as cannabis tends to get older and older, the light and heat that just exists makes the THC break down the CBN. So that's why older cannabis tends to make you more sleepy. Then THCV, the creative one. This tends to be high in the Durban cultivars of cannabis. And people really like this one for its euphoric creative effect. It's why people seek out Durbans. Also, this one is an appetite suppressant uh, because it is slightly blocks the CB1 receptor and helps to lower appetite. Then the terpenes. Beta-carophylline, also known as a dietary cannabinoid because it does something very special. It's the only terpene that also binds to a receptor. It binds to CB2 receptor. So this is a very healing cannabinoid, it seems like. And also, it's one of the most widespread in the plant. So after all of this human breeding, there's a lot of beta-carophylline in there. Then myrcene, the very, very sedative terpene, also found in mangoes. When people say indica, usually what they mean is high in myrcene. This is the one that causes a couch lock effect. Linalool, the gentle, calming, anti-anxiety one. Just stick your face in the lavender and you feel less anxious. It's beautiful and cannabis has a lot of it. And finally, 1-8-Cineol, also known as eucalyptol because it comes from the eucalyptus plant. This is a very creative one. You don't hear about it as much, but this is a really cool terpene.